Frosty, everyone. I'll take you on. I need your help. Huh? We really have to fight Major General Kari? He's number one in the OSF and is a brainier. Not bad. It's too bad it's up to this. Get it together. We don't know how he'll attack. You'll taste my strength. Major General Karin, why are you attacking us? Is this all you're doing? What did you say to Gamma? Answer me, Karin. My body. No way to solve anything. Even if I answer, your don't fate won't change at all. It's pointless to struggle. Instigating the OSF for your own personal gain goes against reason. I can't condone what you're doing, but please explain. I want to understand. You can't stop me. Corin! It stopped hiding. Finish it off. Are you scared? I'll show you a nightmare. This is what real power looks like. This is bad. This is not about this. Ooh, it's time for my power, you Stop hiding. It's too easy. You stopped hiding. Go! I'll wipe you out. Not yet! How about this? The game's... I see. So it's different this time. Understood. However... No! Everyone, get back! <laughs> Nagi! This is bad. I need to find someone. Oh, what the hell's going on? I don't understand any of this. Why are Gemma and Major General Karin attacking us? Same with the other OSF. Damn. Someone tell me what's going on! this way. It would be smart not to get near him. I can't believe the National Defense Forces attacked us. You won't get me today. I'll just break on through. Let's keep this up. I guess I'm getting better.
you uh, Naomi hey the snap other... out of it uh, I swear loyalty to new Himuka Nagi uh, Yuito <laughs> Nagi? Are you okay? Yuito, help Kasane. I'll get Nagi out of here. Got it. Let's go, Kasane. Leave it to me. Let's regroup now. What's going on? Do you know Kasane? I'll explain later. Just do your best to survive. Do what you want. It's hard to move when you're wet. Captain Seto, Kasane, thank you. Uh, you saved us. Oh. Are you okay? Uh, yes. What? Do you feel sick? You're really spaced out. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. Anyway, let's go to Karin. Go to him? Can we beat him? No, he's not our enemy. But he attacked us. No, I found out about Naomi. It's... Nagi, what are you doing? No questions. I will dispose of you. Uh. Ah! Nagi! <sighs> now I understand. Nagi, you're... Get out of my way, Captain! I can't do that. Nagi, you don't want to kill Yuito. If you do, you'll regret it! Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> 
Nagi! <laughs> then you will die! <laughs> We finally found you! Captain Seto! I won't die that easily, Nagi. After all, you're a part of my platoon. I'll be damned if they take you! Kasane, what's wrong? My power. Could it be resonating with Kasane's? What is this place? Uh, uh, Yuito. Are you alright, Kasane? Yes. <clears throat> Where are we? Hey, that's the Sumeragi Crest. And that man over there is... Dressed like the legendary Yakumo Sumeragi. in a dream. just happened to us but where's Kasane <gasps> Hanabi are you okay Hanabi yeah huh why is this happening 
Finally. Found you. Sakumi! Thank goodness. Are you alright? I... am fine. Captain Seto! No. It's too late. <gasps> You're alright. Gamma! What do you want? You still want to fight? Not after that earthquake. No one has the will to fight. Earthquake? You don't remember? After we were attacked by Major General Karin, there was a really big earthquake here. I didn't notice at all. It must have been while I was unconscious. Look at that sky. What is that? There's some kind of gravitational anomaly happening there. Our fellow OSF got sucked in with the debris. I projected my sight inside, but couldn't see anything. It's dangerous to get close. Also, the fire is spreading this way. We won't make it unless we leave now. Okay. Gemma, we'll call a truce for now. Let's get out of here to better assess the situation. All right. Wait. What about Captain Seto's body? We can't just leave him here. I'll carry him. Let's move to our hideout for now. Everyone, follow me. I wonder if Kasane is okay. And what about that image I saw? What was that? I borrowed the freezer in the back of the warehouse next door and put Seto's body in it. Thank you for carrying him, Gemma. Don't mention it. First Naomi, then the captain. I knew being in the OSF was dangerous. But this... You're right. All this infighting. You were involved in that infighting too, Gemma. What's happening? Tell me if you know. How did things end up like this? It's all Major General Karin's doing. He said that the new Himuka government is trying to create a controlled society centralized around the Suo capital. That's consistent with what I've seen and heard. A controlled society? What's that mean? For example, 90% of all psionics will be drafted into the OSF with no right to refuse. The draft uses the results of the annual health checkup, which we also can't refuse. There are countless surveillance cameras in the city. Not many people know this, but the cameras are also equipped with sound recording. It's how they find and arrest dissidents. In the new Himuka regime, that's just the tip of the iceberg. This is an open secret, but there are some in the OSF that suddenly go through changes in their personality. They were all critical of the regime, so the rumor is that their minds were manipulated. Manipulate the mind? That might be what happened to Nagi. Major General Karin said he would stop this control of the people and he would expel the government dogs from the OSF. Government dogs? Is that why he attacked Captain Seto? Yes. He said Seto was taking part in the government's personality rehabilitation. He showed me the evidence, but I still couldn't believe it. That's why I confronted Seto, so I could talk to him. Captain Seto? No, it looked like he was trying to keep Nagi with us. Captain Seto wouldn't have done that. That's not who he was. Wait, Sugumi. Gamma knows that too. The evidence he saw was that convincing. Yeah, but it didn't look like Seto was involved in the government's plan. And then there was that strange hole in the sky, an earthquake after you were attacked by Major General Karn. That wasn't ordinary. Several OSF soldiers were sucked into that hole. Even then, he wouldn't stop his plans for rebellion. That made me question him as well. So that's why you called the truce? Yes, this isn't a simple rebellion. Something's not right. I need to know what it is. The rebellion I was part of took Seto's life. Yuito, you trust Gemma, don't you? But he didn't trust us. Sugumi's right. I should have been more careful. Will you give me the chance to learn the truth? I want to know if he really started this rebellion for the sake of the people. I want to know too. 
I'm curious about that hole in the sky as well. So let's go to Suo together. There must be some clues. Tsugumi, can you accept that? No, I can't. But if he apologizes, I can see it through somehow. Right. I should have been more careful. The truth is, I let my indignation get the best of me. I'm sorry. I owe an apology to Seto, too. Though it's too late. Apology accepted. Okay. Let's rest a bit, and then go to Suo. I don't think I've spoken to Hanabi lately. What Nagi did to Captain Seto. I saw it with my own eyes and I still can't believe it. What happened to you, Nagi? Hey, Yuito. Do you remember our promise from last time? Yeah, we said we'd talk again sometime. How about now? There's something OSF related I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, let's go to Masubi's. Back when I was a cadet, I thought that fighting in the OSF as children of the state would mean doing good. I'd defeat the evil others as part of the heroic OSF. But things aren't really that simple. I know. Everyone had their own motives. I never imagined the OSF would be fighting each other. What is the right thing to do? It's something I really need to sit down and think about, but I don't know. You're right. I get uneasy about it too sometimes. Although, I think it's better to take action than let worry consume you. You have such a positive attitude. I don't know if that's positive. I just think it's better than being kept in the dark the whole time. You have to gather as much intel as you can before something happens that can't be undone. <sighs> You're so sure of yourself. You're like Kasane in that way. Really? Yeah. Even if you two don't agree, you both are so sure of yourselves. I think that's really strong. I'm the same class here as both of you, but I'm always hesitating and worrying. If you didn't push me, I think I would have given up a long time ago. You always saved me too. I wouldn't have made it this far if it wasn't for you. I'm happy to hear you say that. But you don't need to placate me. I'm not placating. You're always so cheerful. You push me to keep going forward. As kids, you always cheered me up when I was feeling sad. I wouldn't be here without you. I know it's just flattery. But it's still a little embarrassing. It's not flattery. I'm genuinely grateful. I need you. <sighs> Do you mean... But not just you, Hanabi. I guess I need everyone by my side. Oh, right. Friends are important. Yeah. There's so much to think about, but you get stuck in a rut when you don't confide in people. So feel free to talk to me or anyone else when you need to. I'm sure we'll be able to help you somehow. Yeah, I mean, talking to you has helped. Well, I'm heading back to the hideout. Okay, see you later. Thanks for listening. There still seems to be something on her mind, but at least she cheered up a bit.